Chuck holding anything? I didn't see him holding anything. Now oh, that's uh, Detective Rigolo questioning you on April 5th, is it not? Yes. She's a detective on this case? Yes. And she questioned you about this urn. Or, excuse me, she questioned you as to whether or not Chuck was holding anything, didn't she? Yes, she did. And you said, I didn't see him holding anything, isn't that right? I said that at that point when she asked me yes. That was a lie, wasn't it? That, uh, I wouldn't call a lie. It was, it was not true. I was afraid maybe to answer that question, uh, that she may say that we were stealing. Well, my, my question is, Ms. Mercer, when you said I didn't see Chuck holding anything, that wasn't true, was it? That is true. In fact, to be blunt, you were lying, weren't you? I don't like you to say that to me. You are going to have to ask Chuck that question because I wasn't there. You weren't there? I wasn't there when that event took place. Well, you certainly saw the aftermath, didn't you? Yes. Were you, were you and Chuck a piece? Uh, at that time, I was not. I don't know what Chuck was doing. Well, Chuck, this we're referring to is Chuck Desiderio, isn't that correct? Yes. And uh, you and he have a close relationship, isn't that right, Miss Mercer? Yes. In fact, the two of you live together, don't you? Yes. And how long have you lived together? Three years. And when you went to Mexico, uh, he went with you, didn't he? Yes. And the money from a current affair? Yes. When you arrived in the parking lot, you saw... Yes. In fact, you told us yesterday, I think, that you parked next to it. Is that correct? Yes. And that was at the north end of the parking lot? Her car was facing uh, north. And you parked your car next to it, also facing north? Yes. Kennedy Homer, excuse me, when you came back from the beach looking for her shoes, uh, stairs or was she in the parking lot? Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, that's confusing. Let me go. After you were looking for her shoes on the beach, when you came back, uh, 
first of all, it's not confusing. I happen to be a little tired. Uh, I was apologizing for asking a bad question. Okay. I wasn't, I wasn't criticizing you. Okay. Um, I saw her in the kitchen area. In the house? Uh, I believe so. It was in the house, in the, or it was on the stairwell. It was close to the entry to the kitchen or on the stairs. Isn't it a fact she went back into the house <coughs> after you saw her on the stairs the first time? Yes. You saw her again in the kitchen area when you came back from the beach, is that right? Uh, I think so. I'm not clear on that. I believe that they were close to the door in the kitchen area, yes. Did she then walk from the kitchen out to the parking lot? Yes. She was able to, did she walk by herself? Uh, I believe that I led the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. You walked first and she followed you? Yes. Did you hold her in any way? No. Did Chuck hold her in any way? Not at that point, no. She was walking on her own, is that correct? Yes. She was able to walk out of the kitchen door by herself, is that correct? Yes. She was able to walk down the kitchen stairs, isn't that right? Yes. She was able to make that turn at the bottom of the stairs and go to the archway by herself? Is yes. That correct? She was able to walk out of the archway by herself? Yes. She was able to get into the parking lot by herself? Yes. She was able to get into her car by herself, is that correct? Yes. She was able to start up the car by herself? Yes. You didn't have to turn on the ignition for her, did you? No. She was able to open her car door to get into the car, wasn't she? Yes. She was able to close the car door, wasn't she? Yes. She then started her car off and left, isn't that correct? That's correct. In fact, you and Chuck followed her in your Jeep. Yes. She was able to drive by herself. Yes. When she got out of the Kennedy home, she got on North Ocean Boulevard, didn't she? Yes. She was able to turn the car south on, or excuse me, make a sharp left-hand turn in order to go south on North Ocean Boulevard, isn't that right? Uh, when she left, I wasn't watching uh, where she went. I can't say which direction that she took. But, but she didn't even wait for you? No. She just took off by herself? Yes. She was in her car alone, is that right? Yes. She was able to drive? Yes. And she drove from there to your home, is that correct? That's correct. She would have to uh, drive through uh, a couple of stop signs and stoplights to get to your home, wouldn't she? Yes. She has to go over a bridge. Yeah, yes. She was able to get to your house? Yes. How many times prior to this had she ever been at your home? That was the first time she's been at my house. That, that night, March 29th, is the first time she'd ever been to your home, is that right? Yes. And yet she was able to find it by herself, driving from the Kennedy home to your house? Yes. You didn't have to give her directions, did you? No. You didn't have to have her follow you? No. You say that she left your house around 6 a.m., is that correct? Yes.
She walked out of your house by herself? Yes. Got into her car? Yes. She was able to drive by herself? Yes. Did she say she was going home? She didn't say where she was going. Chuck had already gone to bed, hadn't he? Yes, I believe he did, to the best of my recollection, yes. While you and uh, either making phone calls or what have you, he got up and went to bed, isn't that right? Uh, yes, he was tired. And at 6 o'clock, uh, when she left, you went to bed? Yes. Did you ever call her to see if she got home all right? Um, I believe I called her. Yes, I believe I did call her. I'm not quite sure. I did call her to make sure she was okay. When but did you I call don't her? No, exactly when I called her, but I did call to make sure she was okay. 6 a.m. after she left, you then called to make sure she got home all right? Uh, no, I didn't call at that time. Well, when did you call? I guess I called uh, around noon. This friend who you say is hysterical, you let her walk out the door, is that right? I tried to stop her. You let her drive her car, is that right? I tried to stop her. You don't even call to see that uh, she makes it? Until I did. you get up the next day? It was 6 a.m. in the morning. I called her at 12. Now, the next day she called, you say that she called you in the middle of the afternoon, is that right? To the best of my recollection, yes, she did call in the afternoon. And she told you that the police were going to come over and question you about what happened? Yes. This last appearance that you had on a current affair, had you already received your subpoena to testify here at the time you negotiated that deal? Yes. You knew you were going to be a witness at this trial, is that right? Yes, I did. You negotiated this after the jury had already been selected, is that right? Yes. Knowing that you were going to come in here and testify? Yes, but again, let me complete my answer. Uh, I did not talk about the facts of the case whatsoever. I made that perfectly clear to them that I would not discuss the facts of the case. We only discussed uh, emotions. Yeah. You're watching CNN's continuous live coverage of the trial of William Kennedy Smith. We'll return with more of the testimony of Ann Mercer after these commercial messages.